Hey guys, today is another tutorial, this time on how to replace an antenna on a 2.4 gigahertz receiver. First thing is, we need to do a little bit of boring math. Now, I know you've looked at your antennas before and noticed that just a little bit at the end is stripped and the rest has insulation around it. That's because an antenna is actually a coax wire with a center conductor and a shield. The overall length of the antenna is not important. What is important is the little bit of stripped at the end. 2.4 gigahertz wavelength is 4.92 inches or 125 millimeters. The stripped portion at the end of your antenna wants to be either that, half, or quarter of that. Mostly, you will wind up with a quarter of it, which is 31.25 millimeters of stripped wire at the end of your antenna. Now a word about where to get your coax wire from. Um, old laptops, well pretty much anything with a wireless uh, internet connection will have antennas in it and those antennas are coax cable. I happen to take mine from an old router. I just unplugged it and pulled it out of the antenna and there it is. All ready to go to repair our receiver. The things you will need to do this is obviously your receiver, your coax, soldering iron, flux, solder, and you don't really need this, but I suggest having it, a helping hand station. So the first thing we're going to do is desolder that old piece of antenna. I don't have any fancy desoldering wicks or anything like that. I just heat it up until it comes loose. Okay, now we're going to prep our coax wire to uh, become our new antenna. First thing you want to do is set up the end that goes in the RX right here. If you look close at this, you can see there are two points, two solder points on it. That one right there is for the center wire or the conductor and this one out here is for the shield or the ground. So what you need is to make a very small amount of uninsulated wire like so. Then this is the fiddly part. You need to get the shielding away from the center part and together like so. Now you need to strip the center part as well and it is very easy to cut through that so you want to watch what you're doing. Okay, that's ready to go. What I'm going to do is just kind of compare it to another RX and cut it eh, somewhere close to the same length. Okay, now we want to set up the other end of the wire. I like to do that before I solder it to the RX, because once it's soldered to the RX, it's just a little more of a pain to maneuver. Um, I did forget to mention something that you will need. You will need any sort of measuring device to get your 31.25 millimeter bare wire. Um, this is just a set of dollar store calipers. I'm going to set it to 31 and as close to 0.25 as I can. There we go. Right there. Now, on this, you're going to want to remove all the outer insulation. Like so. But then you want to get rid of the shielding, too.
just like that. You want to be really careful though not to cut the center insulation down here because if the shield and the center wire touch it becomes one big thing and it doesn't work nearly as well. So now we're ready to solder onto the receiver. Okay depending on how you desoldered it you might not actually need to add any solder to it but you do need some flux. So we'll flux this wire and start with the center conductor yep uh, oh no hmm okay might need to add a little solder to this one no problem a little bit more flux I think we got it now. Yep, that looks good. So that's it. New antenna on an RX. Yep, it's good and solid. Just be careful when you put it back in the case if you are putting it back in the case. Personally, it doesn't matter much to me whether they're in the case or not because uh, I generally waterproof them anyway. One last thing, before you uh, run it, I would definitely do a range test because you never know when your solder joints might not be good or the antenna might have been broken in whatever device you got it out of from the get-go. So yeah, definitely range test it before you start trusting your RC to it.